Hey guys, uh, this is Gaurav and uh, in this video I will tell you about how to fix D-Link Wi-Fi issue. Uh, it has been observed many times that uh, people uh, do get issues with the Wi-Fi to connect with their laptop and I have seen uh, many searches that people have, uh, people have searches uh, regarding uh, Wi-Fi issue uh, connecting to a D-Link router. And uh, let me tell you also one thing more, even I also had one issue regarding uh, connection to the D-Link Wi-Fi router. My laptop was able to search different uh, other neighbors routers, but uh, it was not able to connect to my D-Link router. And uh, I, was, I was also really surprised because uh, it's, it's, it, 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 it was kind of surprising for me also. So here I will just tell you that how exactly you have to fix D-Link Wi-Fi issue. So uh, first of all you have to uh, connect your laptop to your router with LAN cable. So you have a yellow cable that's a RJ45 cable so you have to connect that particular cable from router with your laptop so that you can access at least because you have you have to connect your lap uh, router anyhow with any medium so that is as of now we are connecting our laptop to the router with the help of a cable so it's a direct connection it's a kind of a physical connection so uh, when you will connect your laptop to the router to get the details about the IP addresses so that you can access the home page of your router. So let me tell you the default default IP of your router of your dealing router will be 192.168.1.1 this is the default IP address of your router it might happen that it might differ because there are various uh, versions various models of router so you can find and most of the times you will find that it is written at the back of the router so you can also see that and if it's not there so I will let you know about one uh, one method so that you can find out the find out the IP address of your router so on your Windows uh, 7 or, or any of your windows you have to go to run so that's that's for windows are here you have to put CMD that is command prompt you have to press enter then it will take you to the command prompt black screen in this black screen you have to put IP CONFIG IP config you have to press enter it will show you all the network connected to your laptop it's all the adapters so it will show you wireless adapter it will show you ethernet wireless the main settings which you have to look for this is the one this is wireless LAN adapter wireless connection because yeah it doesn't have anything because we have different kind of different connections in the laptop so this particular connection is showing you the all details so if you're seeing if you're seeing any wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection and it's giving you all these three details IPv4 address subnet mask and default gateway that means this is the right one you have to look for the details now this is the IP address of your laptop now the default gateway this is the one 192.168.1.1 this is the default gateway which is also the IP address of your router this is the address through which you can access home page of your router you can configure settings you can change any settings in your router 
so now we are aware of what exactly the address is you can just close this window by typing exit now you can go to your browser internet explorer or any other browser just put the address 192.168.1.1 it will suddenly give you the dealing router page and on this page it will ask you for username and the password so because only admin can access this page because if, if you have created any user also in the, in, in the router then it will show, show you the different users also but if you, if you have not configured it then it will only show you the username so if it, it is asking for admin then you have to put the password now let me tell you most of the routers comes with the username the password admin admin or admin password so I will let you know the default username of router in most of the cases be with admin and default password as password e or admin anyone in this case mine is admin i can also change that but as of now it's just admin you can press enter you will you will be enter into your dealing router page now you can see you have multiple options here you have setup you have advanced you have management you have status you have help so it will show you different options if you are not that much techy if you're not if you're not aware of if you're not in IT then uh, I would suggest you that don't touch anything on this particular router page you just have to confirm whether your settings are as per the default settings so that all the laptops all the laptops which are required to be connected are connected so which you want to be connected with your router so you can just go to the wireless you will found find two options wireless basic and wireless security you just have to click wireless basic here it will show you all the settings so if you have not turned on wireless so you can click enable wireless or enable i think it will already already be there so if it's not on you can click on you can check this enable wireless you have to put the ssid this is the wireless name of your router you can put any name i have given the name it just so you can put any name here any name dealing or whatever whatever suits you it doesn't it doesn't make any difference then next option is visi visibility status visibility status means do you want this router to make visible for others also do you yeah that means if anyone will search on their mobile or on their laptop if you will make it visible then they will they will be able to search it if, if you will make it invisible they will not be able to search it now here you have to put the country region then control sideband that is default and it is already graded out so that is upper then you have wireless channel so let me tell you initially I used to have different settings like auto I also had channel 12 but I, I just searched on the internet and went through a different blocks and I found this is the default settings and you have to make wireless channel as CH7 so channel 7 because it it varies from auto scan channel 1 to channel 13 it's a kind of a range but channel 7 it's a default it's a best setting so that you can connect any kind of laptop any windows any xp anyone to this particular router and you will not face any issue so i have made this particular video for exactly for d-link because i searched on the internet and i found multiple blocks related to this and uh, i really found the best solution for this but when i went through troubleshooting 
and I just found this is the best option and I have tried this two times because I have already reset my router multiple times so this was the option which I tried and uh, I have I have tried this two times and it's working perfectly and uh, all the laptops which I, I have to connect are, are already connected the next option 802 this is the mode you can keep this this last mode b slash n dot g slash n and bandwidth let it be 20 m and then you can click on apply it will save the settings and then you can and if if you're not aware of the password of your wireless then you can go on wireless this is go on wireless security it will show you the page of wireless security here you will find all the settings now here is a security mode so the security mode you can put what kind of security you want so let it be WPA2 only WPA encryption should be AES WPA mode at the bottom should be WPA2 PSK and group key interval I think it will automatically update it but you can put at 3600 and pre-shared key this is your wireless key now you can put your wireless key here whatever you want and just click on apply so this is how you have to do you have to keep it secured now nobody can access your router it is totally secure so thanks for watching the video